Hey folks, it's Mark, Dispersed Camper Man, and I am currently at the Big Fur Campground. It's a uh, campground located in uh, Washita National Forest, but it's also on uh, Lake Washita. So this is a, uh, a primitive campsite. It don't have uh, electricity or water or anything like that, no dump stations, but you do get a, uh, you get a picnic table, a fire ring, and a grill. Do you get a picnic table, a uh, a fire ring? We have some campfires at, and you can have a grill. If you want to grill you some burgers or steaks? It is right on the Washita Lake, Lake Washita, and you have some good views up through here. You're kind of out on the peninsula, water on each side. It's a pretty cool little place. Like I said, if I'm passing through and I can't get to where I'm going, I usually stop here. Uh, it is a free campsite. You can stay up to 14 days. There's no charge. There are two separate places you can camp here. <clears throat> I'm going to call this one uh, Campground 1. And if you look at the map I fixed put on here right now, there's another place, Campground 2. Camp, uh, uh, campground 2 is what where most people like to camp out because there's a lot more level places for the RV and tents. I'm at campground two right here because there's nobody here. I think the campground two down there has about three people camped out there. <clears throat> and I was wanting to run my generator here and nobody's here. So I actually ran my generator all night watching TV and charging my batteries and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, this campground two right here it has about five spots you can camp, you can camp at. But, like I said, of all five spots on Campground 2 here, there's only one that's kind of level where I can actually get my uh, truck and camper level. I think people use, mainly use this Campground 2 spot here for a day use area. Let me show you this campsite down here. But campground 2 here at Big Fur it is a pull around, so you can just pull around and go back out. There is uh, a vault toilet, that's all there is here. You also have uh, garbage cans you can throw your uh, trash at before you leave or while you're staying here. Look at this campsite right here, it's just pretty cool. This is a big fur campground, like I said it's free camping. A lot of people use it for tent camping. Free camping up to 14 days. You got a beautiful lake view. Like I said, I'm uh, I usually stop here on my way through and going somewhere else. And I got here last night and I'm about to head out today. Let's walk down here. I mean, every campsite has a way to the lake. If you like that free camping, free primitive camping, Big Fur is the way to go. Spider web. Get here to camp out and enjoy the lake. Pretty cool. It is overcast right now. It's raining a little bit overnight and it's still sprinkling right now. So this is Lake Washita. <clears throat> Some free camping available if you want it. Big fur. I've got the grid coordinates on that map. I'll fix it full up on this video. Water looks pretty clear too. Here's another one of the campsites at Campground One Big Fur. If you look up the road, you see the vault toilets up there on the right. 
male, female, vault toilets. There's no water, no electric. Well, you can use a vault toilet up there if you want. Here's the campground one, big fur coming in. I'm parked right there. That's the most level spot right here in this part of the campground. Here is another campsite. Can't really tell, but it is kind of downhill. The views are pretty cool. Can't beat them. <clears throat> Big Fur does offer a uh, boat ramp also, if you want to bring your boat up here. Do some free camping at Big Fur. I'm going to jump on my bike. And I'm going to ride around there to the uh, boat dock, or the boat ramp. Let you guys see that at the Big Fur. Well, I am at the boat ramp, and right down there is the uh, boat ramp for Big Fur. Big fur, download your boat right there. There is um, a little bit of parking right here, but it is limited once you download your boat. But I'd recommend keeping a trailer at camp. Well, I'm going to head over to campground two at the very point of Big Fur. I was biking through there yesterday and there's some people actually camped out up there on campground one so I'm probably just going to do a drive by to show you the spots. If you notice when I'm driving by them, uh, <clears throat> they have a lot more level spots over there. That's why a lot of people prefer campground two over campground one. But there will be less people in campground two than there are campground one. That's why I picked campground two. <clears throat> Let's back over there, campground one. I'm just gonna uh, do a drive-by. Here we go. Well, I am at the uh, Big Fur. I just now started at the. I'm at the campground two part of Big Fur. I'm fixing to do a drive-by, just showing you where the uh, campground is and see some of the campsites. So here we go. It might get spring. It is sprinkling still, and the lens might get a little wet. So. Oh well, here we go. <clears throat> right there, Campground 2 does have a, a vault toilet also. Looks like they even got a Class A in here. Class A park over there. They got a nice view of the lake over there. Little tent camper here. Trash cans. About 15 camping spots. Campground 2. Campground, yeah, campground 2. guy's got his boat in the water. Looks like he's doing some jugging. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We got campsite right in the middle. Gazebo up there. I 
that's pretty much it. Campground 2, Big Fur, free camping. Can't beat free. I haven't been to vault toilets. Uh, been in one vault toilet, been in all of them. Whew, I got a downshift. Yep, yeah, folks, this is a big fur uh, campground. If you're into primitive camping, tent camping, RV camping, primitive primitive tent camping, you'd like to be on the lake or some water, uh, you bring you a kayak, bring you a fishing pole, bring you a boat, <coughs> come out here to uh, Big Fur. It's free camping. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, free camping up to 14 days. And yeah, pretty cool little campground. I hey, appreciate you guys for uh, watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment below if you have any questions about this campground and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks folks. Thanks for watching.